explain my kitchen let's do it together the uli tiel now uli the uli means shallots okay now this tiel we make it with uh, bitter gourd as seen people make it with brinjal but i don't make it with brinjal i make it with uli uh, bitter gourd and uh, ladies finger i only make this thing but i have seen people many of them try different different versions but somehow i don't like the taste of all of that this is how i make my tiel and uh, the only problem here in this is if when you are frying the coconut you need to fry it perfectly if you over fry the coconut it will turn bitter and this curry is little spicy sour and so uh, very nice it goes with uh, the shallots so let's have a look at the ingredients very few ingredients yet it is a very ta- tasty uh, curry i have taken here one cup of the shallots now the shallots what i have done is these say the shallots which come are like little bigger right so i've just given a cut and made it half like so like that i have one full cup and here i have about 2 tablespoon of the whole dhania and the red chili i have taken a mix of the kashmiri red chili and the normal spice if you see the normal spice is only from this three and um, some curry leaves here okay and uh, we have going to add some oil and fry this and take it aside we have to make a fine paste of this masala so i'll be using about 1 cup of the grated coconut and uh, you need tamarind for your taste some um, turmeric powder coconut oil and of course i have here some mustard and about a pinch of the fenugreek which is for tempering in the end and uh, that's all we need if you want you can add one green chilies when you're sauteing the onion now first i'm what i'm going to do is i'm going to fry the ingredients i kept a kadai here to it i'm going to add about nice one tablespoon of the oil use coconut oil only okay to it i'm going to add nice one cup of the grated coconut Let it get roasted very well. Keep an eye on the coconut. Let it not get burnt. This has to turn into nice golden brown. So till such time, we will start roasting. Here also, I'm adding about half teaspoon of the oil. I'm just frying and taking it out. Now the reason why I am frying both separately. the coconut has a different timing for getting roasted and if you see the um dhania and the other ingredients they take a different kind of timing so if you put both of them together and dry, dry roast what happens is the coconut won't get roasted and in between this will get burnt and this stuff they tend to get uh burnt and then you'll have the bitter taste so that is why we don't want that to happen so separately fry and grind it together there's a lot of frying process for this curry stop frying the dhania i'll show you how it is you see how golden it is i'm just chopping it here because my pan cast iron has got a little more heat and it will roast more so i'm just leaving it there it's a to cool down completely if you feel the coconut is getting stuck here and there then you add little bit of coconut oil see now how golden i have fried <clears throat> and then add off the flame and add all of them 
together and I want them to rest till they become cold and then once they cold you have to grind it to a fine paste I put about nice one tablespoon of the coconut oil. One to two tablespoons you put. A little generous on the coconut oil. Then. And then I'm going to add in the shallots there. Okay. Now, when you add the shallots, Now we have to nicely roast the shallots, okay? So the onion will get nicely caramelized like so till that time we have to nicely fry. First time I made my peel, I burnt my coconut mix. And then I made curry also. Once I made my curry, it was so bitter that I tried pouring uh, tamarind water, tamarind water more to make it more uh, level of my taste like. It never happened. Finally, my peel became very burnt and miserable the first time my peel was. But I normally never give up, you know. Once I peel on it, then I keep trying, trying. Now, of course, I make really good ones. So. Okay. Now keep trying until it leaves its golden color. I've added quarter teaspoon of the turmeric and I'm loving it to try. I've added a little bit of the tamarind pulp and salt so that the tamarind will get mixed with the onion. And now salt will get into the onion as well. It's boiling now. I'm going to add in the grounded paste. Add some water. It's going to reduce the flame. Now sourness you have to adjust how much ever you want for your curry. It's up to you. I kept a pan here to it, I'm going to add the mustard and the fenugreek. As this clutter, I will off the flame. At this time now, if you want you can, if your curry doesn't have spice, if you feel if there are no spice for the curry, you can add half a spoon of the red chilli powder and then one or two pieces of the onion and then garnish it on top of it. Okay, I'm not doing it because my curry has everything I felt. I didn't want any spice for my curry. So I'm just going to allow it boil and then add that. It's boiled well. See, you can see that difference in the level on top. So now we are ready to plate. So I'm just going to off. Sooner I'll have to be shifting this curry from the cast iron. Reason being the curry is very sour and I cannot keep sourness. And I cannot keep the sourness here for too long on the cast iron. So I'll have to move that from this vessel. And I'm just going to add in more of the centering there. Curry is done. I'm off the flame and ready to plate. Thank you for watching me. Happy cooking, happy eating.